Good day. Clap sync. Clap sync? Yeah. They got a clap? No, uh, if you want. Yeah. Sam. G'day. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Um, the noise that you'll hear in uh, the podcast version of this with heavy breathing and licking it's is not me. <laughs> it's definitely not Sam. It's uh, Wilson. <laughs> and he's going to be laying there for a little bit, making some noise. There may be some excessive dog scratching going on. <laughs> so, um, well, I've written some questions. Um, let's start with tell me about yourself and uh, I mean I know who you are mm. tell everybody else who you are and if you're trying to plug yourself for anyone that's looking for photography Ooh, isn't it a bit, bit about myself well I've sort of been doing photography now for quite a long time I've always been someone that's played with cameras and always had an obsession with it kind of started with the old auto cameras back in the day any bugs or flowers the old, act, the old macro mode jumping straight in but Probably in the last year or so, I've picked up cameras and learned a little bit more about the manual mode and proper photography and how to do it. And yeah, it's actually been really nice to sort of pick up a camera and learn how to use it the right way. I started doing landscapes, um, invested in some ND filters. I think I've got a 3.5 and a 4 and sort of worked in the long exposure type things. And I managed to sell a few of those just over time through just some bigger prints and gloss prints. Which is a really nice thing to have someone say, you know, we like your work and it's really nice to be able to sell it. And then, up until recently, I had someone ask if they wanted to come and do some portrait stuff. And for me that was really new, I hadn't really shot with people before. And they'd asked if we could do it at night. And so I've got a white bar that I use for my painting with cars. So I decided to use that and it actually turned out really well. And a lot of people said, well, you know, that's a constant light, why don't you have a go at flash? And for a long time, flash has always scared me. I've always been, you know, flash, God. Yeah, I'm still scared of it. Yeah, yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit tricky, the old flash thing, but, you know, spent a bit of time on YouTube and learned from a few people. I don't know, have you heard of the Manny Ortiz before? Yeah. Yeah, and um, Miguel Kilos. I've sort of used them as a lot of inspiration and sort of used a lot of their work to learn from it. And it's been really good, and since then I've got a handful of Niwa uh, speed lights, I've got my Godox 8200 and yeah they've worked really well and it's been nice. I've worked with probably 20 models now and it's been really good and you know, coming in meeting yourself and these like photography groups that we've got, it's a really good opportunity to meet people and work together and you know, work with other creative people and it has, it's been really nice, it's been, it's been really interesting. So. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's been good, I mean I work FIFO fly and fly out out of Area C and I've been doing that for eight years now and it's, it's very repetitive. You do the same thing day in day out and not the best industry like yes the money is good but it's not everything and I've always wanted to do something that I love and photography is something that I love doing so if one day I can get out of FIFO and do photography full time well yeah that'd be you say amazing. One day. You say one day. Yeah because I mean at the moment shouldn't say this I am someone that works from my phone, I don't have a laptop or a computer to edit from, so until I have a laptop, computer, something to work from, then I don't feel it would be the right thing to sort of leave from a FIFO or to start working full time to hustle, but once I've got to that point then yeah, it's going to be hustle city, it's going to be, you won't hear the end of me, you so, see me over everything. So the thing that's holding you back is a laptop? A laptop, a computer of all things, yeah. And I, I don't know why, I think I'm a little bit scared to jump into the actual Photoshop Lightroom like professional side of things, like I think I'm a little bit comfortable, I think that's one of my I feel fears. You. I feel you. So I think that's something I need to work past and get a bit more familiar. I, I didn't even touch Lightroom, I didn't yeah. even touch any editing when I first mm. started photography because I said to myself I need to just get used to the camera Yeah. and I didn't read any books, I didn't watch that many YouTube videos. Yeah. I think I've watched like two just to get like the basics that I already kind of knew. Yeah. And then um, just like to rehash and refresh. And now it's like in the second nature, but yeah. I did this project in 2014, 2015. I called it Project 200 because um, there's this book here, actually. Fancy seeing this. Um, so yeah, this yeah. has this has 200 sleeves in it, mm -hmm. and I never actually properly finished the project. Never actually put any photos 
into thanks Wilson um, never actually put any photos in this so maybe it's a project I might re rediscover yep. um, but I do have these here There's some of my original photos hang on I'll get it for you so I the rule was to take photos um, unedited mm -hmm. I've got a whole stack of them here because I printed them out um, so yeah the rule was I only had to take them with the camera. Yep, that's it. And I had a Nikon D7 100. So like, there's the moon. Um, and then you've got Hillary's, yep. just like basic stuff, but like um, iconic kind of foundational. I got into bird photography. It's just something nice about having a printed photo as well. Yeah, it's, I think it's like, it's like it, it shows you my like foundation is what yeah. I did. And this is in the mountains of Kyrgyzstan. This is when I started photoshopping a bit because yeah. I balanced the colors and oversaturated them a bit because that was the cool thing to do when you, to me, first started photography. <laughs> this one wasn't as edited. Um, but it's nice, like it's a really nice sort of composition. Yeah, yeah, so like, I was just trying to get the, um, the settings all correct. Um, and then, and then this is my first long exposure Milky Way. Nice. Like no, no extra purple tints or anything like that. Yeah. And um, yeah, and then there's like beach stuff and yeah, these are all like, and then I started to get a little bit more into it. Yeah. Um, light painting, um, so like uh, long exposure stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but, and then like, that was probably my first ever portrait. There you go. I've just, um, one of my clients had a kid, had a, had a grandson with them um uh, and that was probably my very first portrait right there they don't like it forever you know that's and yeah there's so many like just random things <laughs> depth of field and that and yeah this is all me just practicing and playing around with it and it's so so like, i think that's probably one of the most important things with cameras especially for yeah. people that are starting out with photography like if you've just gotten yourself a camera and you're just wanting to learn just Get out there and shoot everything. If it's it. door knob, door handles, like anything around the house, yeah. anonymous objects, that's probably the best thing to start doing. Yeah, because like, they're still, and you can practice focusing and that. Yeah. But um, I did not touch Photoshop or, or Lightroom. I didn't mm. touch Photoshop for a long time. I didn't touch Lightroom until my first holiday. Yeah. Because after the holiday, I wanted to like make it real cool and yeah. a little different. And, and then I started getting into Lightroom and slowly building up my practice and got better and people started really liking the stuff. Yep. And then um, and then I was like, oh, Photoshop's there. Photoshop is right there. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't need it. So close. I don't I don't know why I need it. I don't yeah. know. And then the one thing that changed me was someone online um, I was following. They said dodge and burn. Yep. That was it. Dodge and burn for landscape and then more specifically for portraits. So, mm. man, like, you're getting so much work with your with your photography now. Yeah. If you, like, double down and really commit, yeah. uh, I reckon really long term, that. I reckon long term, and not, not even long that long, I reckon mm. you'll be able to make more money if that's what's holding you back as well than your FIFO job because happiness is more valuable than money. You're not wrong. Happiness is you're everything. You're going to, I feel like you're going to just like regret it a little bit. Like <laughs> oh, you're going to regret do. the next, <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. So you, but for me, I'm, I'm taking that leap next year yeah. and I'm happy with my job. I'm so yeah. happy. It's not repetitive. No, nah, that's Every good. day is different. Yeah. But for some reason, and I hate saying the word but after I said something because it kind of <laughs> makes the, the, the previous stuff redundant, but, yeah. but um, it's, it's something that I just want to, I need to scratch that itch. Yeah. I need to do yeah, it absolutely. and then I'll, I need to see if it's something I really want to do. Yeah. As soon as I start missing those kids, I'll be right back there. Yeah. Because it's like, so it's so fun as well. Yeah. And I'm trying to balance it at the moment and it's, it's half pregnant. Yeah. Can't do it, but it's going for you, man. Like Kind of like a big kid. You just miss yeah. having all your little friends there. But the best thing, yeah, the best thing about it is you get to go home here and you're what? What are your, what's your turnover? Like what's your, my two and one yeah two weeks on one week two off. and one yeah. so that one week you just have to if you can book Possibly. out that whole week yeah see i've had two weeks off this time round and i've had 
morning and afternoon shoots nearly every day since I've flown home and yeah it's been chaos. It's been wicked good fun and I've met lots of good people. Yeah. But yeah man, working from my phone for that. I would I wouldn't recommend it. If you can afford to buy a laptop or a computer, do it. Yeah. yeah. What's stopping you? I don't know. I guess the fear of jumping in and um, learning the new side of Photoshop. I'm a little bit scared of it, but yeah, yeah, the finance thing, it's not really something that bothers me, but if, yeah, I really need to do it. I know I need to, and I think I'm going to. And you September? Think, you think. September? September. 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 Accountable. Accountable. Yeah, accountability right there. That's you, a chart Are you value. going to do it? September yeah. or maybe? Yeah, it's, a, it's in the plan. It's either a 105. Is it a solid yes or a solid maybe? It's a solid maybe. Uh, There's a heap of different things that I really want, but priority. Hit think, like if you believe in. Hit yeah. like if you don't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think the laptop is probably the more responsible thing to do with where I'm going and what I've been doing. It would make more sense to get that rather than go in and start buying more oh my lenses. My God, absolutely, so, man. Like, yeah, I mean, I've already got, I've already got my 2470. I've got an 85, 18, two fifties, a one four and a one eight plus handful of cameras stuff, yeah. and flashes, soft boxes. I've got all the fruit and juice for that, and you know. I don't see any point in going buying more stuff. It's more just because I want to. What's your current rate? Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, I mean, I do a lot of TFP, yep. which I know a that lot of helps. people. Are, yeah, it yep. gets gets my name out there, and that's kind of what I want to do at the moment. I don't see much reason behind me charging a lot just yet. Yeah, I will usually say if someone comes to me that 100 to 120 type of mark. I think that's a fair for my time. And Two then hours that goes into it. Yeah, I would say for an hour and a half, two hours sort of thing, a couple of different outfits, a couple of different locations close by if we're doing that sort of thing, but yeah, I mean, it's all good fun. For me, it's getting to meet people again. For a long time, I shut off the person I was, and now doing photography, which is something I love, and meeting people is something I've always loved. So being out there, meeting new people, talking with people, getting to show the person I am to people, is something that I love. And it's a really good feeling to hear some of the things that you like your feedback from people. It's a really nice thing to hear sometimes. It's quite refreshing. Yeah. You heard it. Yeah, heard so it. I mean, yeah. for people that are getting out there, if they're not too sure, just go out there, give it everything you've got, and yeah. 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 Go I mean, it. I mean, for me, I, I really want to do more portraits as well. I yeah. paid portraits, and yeah. I've done a lot of TFP, but now I feel like um, I'm dogging the boys a little bit because mm. I've got more paid jobs, mm. and the TFP, they they're put second because you know the, the paid jobs get priority. Yeah. So I've kind of like stopped PFP, um, and um, doing all these paid shoots. Um, but I really want to still bring it to the community, and I feel like I am doing it anyway yeah. with the portrait walks. Yeah, that's no. pretty full on. That. That's mm. looking really good. Yeah, I mean it's it's just come <laughs> out of nowhere. Yeah. Out of nowhere. Well, the one is this your third one? There's a hundred plus people. Yeah. 100 plus, confirmed 100 plus people. Seven speaks, port walks, get on the board that. So, <laughs> do you have a favorite shoot story? Ooh, so far. Favorite, favorite shoot story. I guess, ooh, they're all really, they're all just handfuls of fun. Like, I couldn't bring one down that I've found my favorite so far because everyone, every one that I go to, I just think this is just getting better and better because like the more creative, that I'm getting the more creative that these people come to because so they can see that I can adapt to different things and work in different areas. It's really fun to see what people have. So, I mean, I started off very basic with a very small camera and sort of working around Fremantle streets. We used a library and worked in there. So I had some really moody type shots and very dark lights and that books and holding a book open with, you know, like- Yeah, one. I remember seeing them. And that was when the gear and that was amazing. That was so much fun as my first actual shoot with a model and then you know, I've progressed from there. I've worked with people doing cosplay type things, and like just seeing the effort that people put into those outfits is it's incredible, and it's just so much fun. Yeah. Working Did with you them. go to Supernova? No, I've never been to a Supernova or anything like. We have to go next year. I went this year. Yeah. But I didn't go inside. I was just lurking outside yeah. with the camera. Lurker. <laughs> I got some cool photos. It's yeah. just I'm still trying to get that lighting right. Yeah. Like I'm not happy with my lighting yeah. right now. I need to, and I really, really want to try and figure out a, a way to, to just get that natural light as best I possibly yeah. can, or a, like a kind of off flash, but I can hold it. 
and yeah. get it right. Like that little soft box I had before. Yeah. I want to be able to have that, <laughs> but still be able to, you yeah. know, have it as almost not like your beauty dish. That's your next. That's next level. Yeah. Um, but a little bit more of a natural vibe, enough light for the skin to be detailed. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen at graduation ceremonies before for the universities. I don't know the brand of them, but for the cameras, they do have those big brackets that come off the side. And sometimes they can be just as useful. People have a flash, instead of being in a hot shoe, the flash will be you know, up here compared to the camera. Yeah. And sometimes they can be really useful for that sort of thing. Yeah. Maybe like one of those ones that's like a brace that has, yeah. that's like on top of me or something. I don't know. And it's your own supernova outfit with just flashes coming oh. off everywhere. What's this guy doing? That's next level. <laughs> that's next level. So, no no specific favourite shoot stuff? Oh, I think Ness would be most upset if I didn't tell her this one. We did one, um, Vanessa and I, with Brittany, and we collaborated with... Uh, braids. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Game of Braids. I think Game of Braids, yeah. yeah. And yeah, that was awesome. Just so many fluorescent colours. Yeah. And yeah, that was the first time I met them, so that nice. was really cool. Lots nice. of cool, fun colours. We moved around, we had sunsets, red glasses, and wacky colours, and yeah. man, just... Yeah. We could find through Northridge. That was a really cool, groovy way to do it. Nice. That, nice way to meet the girls. Yeah. I had a I had a shoot with um like uh, we had Geordie, Ivy, Emma, and Steph, um, and we went yep. just down the road here. Yep. And we had a paint fight. Oh, stop it! That was sick. That was pretty cool. We're gonna Actually, do a second that, one. that was really cool. We're though. gonna do a second one with um I've got um I've got this shirt or the oh. Good Thanks shirt in reverse. So it's oh. white on black, um, no, black riding on white shirts. Yeah. And they're all going to wear that and they're going to, yeah. Yeah, I like So it. we're going to try and figure out how we can like, do a better job. Like, the paint part was okay, but it was like kind of quick. It was just like in bottles. So we need to like figure out how to get super soakers and really like I think make the best some, of it. I think some high speed cameras, just like full slow motion video, that stuff. Yeah, man. Just yeah, man. water pistols. Well, that's what I mean. Like maybe I can, maybe I can be the videographer, and then you can be kind of cool. I would definitely be down with that. Yeah, hard. That'd yeah, be sick. Definitely. That'd be sick. Little project. Yeah. 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 My dog just shit himself. <laughs> yeah. To see yeah, the sorry, face. You oh. me, but yeah. Guys, he you can't smell it, just, but we just we just got punched in the face it's, by worse than making my teeth furry. Yeah. 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 I, feel <laughs> like, I feel like I need a shower now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you see yourself in the next five years? Ooh, in the next five year question. What do you oh. see yourself towards the, like, within the next five years, not in the next five years? Yeah, I mean, I always said, you know, I wouldn't want to be FIFO forever. And, you know, I'm eight, eight years strong and my goal was five years. So life changes over time. You can never know what's going to happen tomorrow. But, um... You know, in the next five years, I'd like to have myself sort of have a house and, you know, travel the world a bit more with my wife and... Love it. Yeah, if I can do some portrait work along the way and keep that going, you know. My goal originally was to be a supervisor at my work and the way the business and the way the company has changed, I'm sort of feeling photography is more my flavour again. And now that I've picked it up and I feel like I've developed and I feel like I can definitely take that a bit further. I mean, you're only, so, you're only starting. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really hoping I can pick up some more with that and, you know. I really hope so too. Yeah. I um, <laughs> it's, um it's a lot of fun. and I reckon you can, I reckon really you should just buy the laptop, like yeah. tomorrow. Buy the laptop and just have it sitting there. You don't have to touch it. You said no, the finance is not a problem, just have mm. it there. Yeah. Then the next step is I'll come around with my laptop. You don't have to, you don't have to take the wrapping off. Just have it sitting there. I'll bring my laptop in yeah. and I'll, we'll, we'll play. We'll play some Photoshop and some Lightroom. Mm. I'll show you some tutorials that yeah. I learned. Yeah. And then you can watch them. And then, yeah, just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push it. I'm this gonna, guy. I'm he's, gonna push it. He's playing on my rubber arm for sure. Hard. Hard. You know, hard. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm not comparing you to my kids at school, but the, the teaching philosophy, like the principles are the same. Mm. You, you teach by showing. Yep. And you know, monkey see, monkey do. Yeah. Um, but like, <laughs> I I don't know 
how many people have been inspired by me. They, they say they say they have. Yeah. I don't try and fish their their compliments out for them. Like, oh, Sarah, I'm doing this because you're doing it. You know, mm. um, like one of my good friends, Cody. Um, he's a football player and he's just finished up recently and he's got the A7 III and he's got a, a water housing thing like our summer portraits are gonna be sick. Nice. Yeah, um, <laughs> but like he got into it because of me and now like we're talking about it all the time like yeah. I finished footy a year or two years ago and we still stayed friends um, and we're bonding again because of photography mm -hmm. so you know like I, did, I didn't even have to twist his arm because he was watching how much fun I was having. Yeah. He was teasing me at the start, like all my mates do about yeah. the stuff that I do, but that's the thing. People are going to tease you, people are legitimately going to pull you down. Yeah. So oh. my, mates, my mates just took the piss, but mm. I knew he was taking the piss and they, they love me and I love mm. them, but there are some people out there that actually are harsh Yeah. because they're just, they're just jealous or whatever or insecure. Yeah. But man, like, start, get your first one out, get your first Lightroom edit out on mm. your computer, yeah, and then go into yeah. Photoshop, and go sh I mean, I recommend going a little bit of Lightroom, just playing with the dials yep. on the computer, yep. and then learning how to export that into um, Photoshop, yep. and just do basic stuff, and then from there, it's like... Because I mean, the, the basic side of things, you say that, I mean, that's something that I've always had to work from being someone that works on their phone. Yeah. I've never been someone that's had to, or been able to, build photos on top of others and yeah, layer it and whatever yeah. it is that oh, people man. do. It's good. They, they come up amazing when people yeah. do it, but I've always, I mean, it's a benefit for me. I've always had to be someone that gets the photo in the camera. I've had to get exactly the way it is in the camera. So when I'm working from my phone, I just have to do tiny, Incremental that's what I mean. Changes. That's what I mean. Like, and it's really helped me over the years. I mean, it's not the best way. That's exactly why I did that project. Yeah. I wanted to be able to get the the best possible image mm. I could, and that's helped me. I, I feel think, like I need to go back to it again. Yeah, I think working with film is a really good way to do it as well. Because my Nikon F4, that's a 1987 camera, has all the same settings that you can see on a modern DSLR, but you can't just look at the screen and go, "No, nah, that's not a good one." I have to make sure it's really good, perfect, how I want it in the in the view. And then print it and go, alright, cool, that's good. Yeah. I really like this one. I'm so or I don't like, like this one. But yeah. There's there's no editing involved. I mean then. like my recent one of um, I don't know if you saw the one that Kari uploaded just recently, this one. Oh I like it. That's like I'm I'm, I'm I feel like I'm back with that. Yeah. Like I took that though, like uh, a few weeks ago. Yeah. But oh, that's stunning, that's really nice. Sort of that, that reflection there. This yeah, is really I'm soft. Happy with the lighting. That's really beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah. Gorgeous shot. Um, yeah, I'm super stoked with it. And then there's a few more out there as well um, that I'm like wanting to edit, but just just not happy with my lighting game at the moment and my color grading. Yeah. Um, but it's just a, it's a matter of just sitting down and just doing it and just yep. like learning it. Like um, um, Kyle, you know, the ginger boy. Yeah. Um, he's, he's, the ginger he, boy. <laughs> he is Much respect, Kyle, doing you, so well. Um, and, uh, Byron, he's doing so well yeah. too. Um, and Ethan, young Ethan, he's doing so well. And like, they inspire me. Yeah. They they're, inspire me. They're so much fun, those kids. Yeah. I mean, I've spent a bit of time with Kyle now and yeah, hard to go with that guy. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's. You know, and then now I'm like also focusing on video because mm. I'm um, I'm really liking the film stuff. Yep. I like to tell a story with audio involved. Are you gonna jump in on the DJI and get the Ronin and absolutely, all that flavor? absolutely. Yeah. Like, I'll get the um, well, I got the Ronin in the car. Yeah, I'll got stop it. it. <laughs> I've already got it. I've already got it. Um, <laughs> but I and now like watching Nick doing the handheld stuff. Yeah. I I see the appeal for handheld because it's. It's less bulky as well. Yeah. It's like, yeah. if you can do it minimally, it's like it, uh, perfection, or there's no such thing as perfection, only improvement, but the way you improve is not by adding more, mm -hmm. but by taking away yeah. and making it as less as possible. Less so, more. And that's, yeah, yeah, when that's what I'm trying to get with my editing. Mm. Less is more, like I put it in, transfer it to like Photoshop, and I'm like, okay, We'll, we'll fix the skin up a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, pimples and stuff happen, yeah. like loose hairs going across the eye. Oh, that's yeah. hard to edit. That's not fun. Not especially on the phone, Jesus. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, um, doing that, all that, and um, 
and then going to the next thing and the next thing because you follow the tutorial that you're used to and then you realize like I've gone and done it actually or the people that I've watched the tutorials I don't actually like their photos anymore yeah well they're nice but they're not my thing they're just too overdone and I look at my photos and I'm like oh well no shit so then I reverse it yeah. now it's starting to get my own flavor but I feel like I need to bring a few more flavors in yeah. and combine them to make it like more optimal for me yeah uh, and that, that's the thing everyone so has their different process. styles and like you said their own flavors so glad you said flavors because that's definitely how I describe things Oh, but, yeah, flavor. Well heard. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, you're exactly right. You look at things, you learn from it, and then once you've kind of got your own flavor, you go, mm, I think I like mine more. And yeah, that's purely opinion. But if you like it and someone else likes it, then you've got business. Yeah, and you're doing it. well. And that's it. Best part. So there's a lot coming up for me in the next few weeks, and I hope I hope that in the next few weeks you've bought that laptop, and then September. <laughs> I hope my wife doesn't watch this, but... I hope she does. And I I'll hope probably she, buy that tomorrow. I hope she sees it. <laughs> and I hope she's like, nah. Nah, Sam. Do it. If it makes mm. you happy, do it. You yeah. Because, you know... Yeah. She should. Yeah. Come on, back me up. <laughs> Alright. Let's wrap it up. Um, it's been good. Thank you. Good thanks. If you, if you have... <laughs> Uh, if you have one piece of advice for anyone out there, for absolutely anything, what would it be? I don't know, if you're, I don't know, like, I guess with the photography side of things, if you're, if you're just thinking about doing it or you're a little bit nervous about going out and working with other models, just go out and do it. Like, honestly, for me, it was, I shut off a very long time ago and to go out there and start working with people, it's given me so much more confidence again in myself knowing that I hadn't lost myself. I'm still able to be the person that I am. I can still get out there and show people who I am and what I'm about. And that's been a really nice thing to hear that from people that, you know, people who are that outgoing person that I'm you know, good to work with, easy to talk to. And that's been really nice, really refreshing. Love your work. Which is kind of nice. So Love your work. Get out there, guys. Please do it. <laughs> Go hard. Follow your heart. Just buy a laptop and. Buy a laptop. <laughs> Don't be a hypocrite and buy a laptop, Sam. Yep, right. Love you, mate. Thank you very much. Good, good, good.